Last repair for the day. I do not have any videos recorded for today, so I thought let me work on this one. It's actually 640 right now and we close at 6. We're going to be working on a Seagate hard drive, a 4 terabyte Seagate hard drive that came in for data recovery. Customer said the drive does not power on, it does not spin, nothing. Drive is completely dead. From experience, I know anytime we have a problem with a hard drive where the hard drive does not spin or power up, it's most likely a problem with the motherboard. Right now we have four screws on the board. I already removed the screws and we're going to separate the motherboard. And let's take a look under the microscope and see what's going on. Why is the drive not powering on? The customer does not care about the drive, but he cares about his data. He can always buy another hard drive, but he cannot buy data. Quick visual inspection, just to see if there's anything obvious. Maybe this board was worked on before, or maybe a component is blown, or a component is discolored, or a component is ripped off the board. The board is not that big, small, so it's very easy and quick to do visual inspection. That's it, done. And as you can see, everything looks perfect. So what's the problem? Why is the drive not powering on? Two possibilities. Number one, the internals of the hard drive may be bad, which is very unlikely. And number two, and option two is the motherboard is bad. Most likely it's a motherboard issue. What I want to do, based on my experience working on hard drives, is we're going to start by measuring those zero ohm resistors in beep mode, meter in continuity mode, and let's see. Are those resistors good? They are. This one is good, and this one is good. What about this diode? Diode, we need to measure it in diode mode. Red probe on top, black probe on the bottom. We do not have a short, so the diode is good. And let's measure this one. Red probe here, black probe here. And look at that, we have a short, short circuit. What if we flip the probes? Flip the probes. And we have a short circuit. Most likely, the diode is dead. What else? Any more zero ohm resistors? We do have two more right here. Let's measure and make sure those resistors are good. And look at that. The resistor is blown. Zero ohm resistor is more like a fuse. It connects two traces together. And you can think of it more like a fuse. So it's blown. And this one is blown too. So we have three bad components on the board so far. One, two, and three. Meter in diode mode. Let's go over this one. And this one is good. And honestly, right now, I do not think we should spend any more time looking around because we may have already found our fault. We're going to get rid of this guy here. We're not going to replace it. We do not have to. To get data, we can remove it. It's used for protection. And we're going to replace the two zero ohm resistors that measured open. Maybe I can go home early, even though I'm already late. So, just mark a line right here. And that's just a quick indication of where that line is on the diode. get rid of this diode out and let's replace those zero ohm resistors bye bye and bye bye just a little bit of flux and since I already have my hot tweezers, why not use them instead of a soldering iron? Great. Get rid of the glare. And those resistors, I believe, they are size 603. And where do you get a size 603 zero ohm resistor? 
from the resistor books that we carry and sell on our e-commerce shop. And look at my label. I have the book labeled, but over time, the label goes bad, and we have to create another label and put it on the outside so we know. Let's put it on the side, and I have the zero ohm strip right here. Let's go back under the microscope, solder those in, and then we're going to try the drive to see if it works. Apply flux. And let's grab our zero ohm resistor from here. We need two. Now it's going to be hard to grab that component, so what I do is I wet my tweezers if we have enough flux on the board right here and just grab see magic it's like a magnet so we're going to grab the component make sure it's aligned it doesn't have to be aligned actually and heat it up from here done and now we're going to do the same thing here. Done. Now we're going to do the other end. Done. And finally. Done. How come this is bridging with this? It's the same line doesn't matter when the mask is exposed in the middle then solder will flow that way we're all good clean up all right and let's see I connected the board with two screws onto the hard drive and plug it in Yes, yes, the hard drive is spinning. We hear the tone. And I want to see something on the screen. So far, nothing. But the computer is thinking, so that's a good thing. The red ones are my hard drives. And both of them are full. And right now, I'm not seeing this hard drive on the screen. Let's wait a bit more. I mean, the hard drive is spinning. It's a four terabyte hard drive, so it may take a few seconds. Unless, of course, it's an Apple hard drive and it's not formatted to show up on a PC. In which case, we're going to have to try it on a Mac. It should have showed up by now. The hard drive is still spinning. Okay, let me shut it off and back on. You see, when I shut the drive off, we heard the tone. And now back on. Nothing. Great. What is going on? Okay, maybe I'll try this on a Mac and see what happens. Let's try it on a Mac. I have the hard drive connected to this adapter onto the computer. And we're going to turn it on. The hard drive is spinning, and we should see something right on the top here. Look at me. Who needs a camera when you can see me on the screen? But do not focus here. We need to focus here. If something will pop up right there. Yes, yes, yes. We do see the drive right here. Double click on it, and I'm going to have to blur the screen later on. Click on it, and we can see all the files. Awesome. Awesome. Let me go back to my camera right here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.